Oh, hey guys. Wow, okay. Um, I have no idea how to start this video, but I just, I want to start in trying to collect my thoughts because if I don't start it now, I'm gonna let it slip away and I don't want to do that. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Let's start as like the usual that we do here. Today is the 22nd of September. You guys may or may not know or realize that I don't really put out my videos um, like really close to like filming. I don't really put out the videos close to that time of filming. I'm just working on videos right now that have been filmed like a month ago. And I did put out a new video to days ago on tuesday and i also titled that video i'm gonna link it down below i am talking about me possibly having endometriosis and i just want to make a i don't even know if like one video or or just to sprinkle out these videos on my channel and do like follow-up videos with what's going on i really had this idea that i wanted to be, do like a one big video but because of me going through this process Obviously not everything has happened yet, so... I have been going to my gynecologist since I was 16-ish. I recently changed gynecologists. I've always experienced a lot of pain during my period. And I would say that in the past two years, so around from 2021, I've been experiencing a lot more pain, not just before getting my period and on my period, but just throughout the whole month. And it was just like a shooting pain. I didn't really know what was going on. So two years ago was when I was at my mom's. I woke up one day, because I was sleeping over there and I had just this huge pain in my right side and I started crying, I started panicking, I had no idea what was going on so my mom told me to get it checked immediately so we hopped in the car and she drove me to um, the doctor. That experience was so bad for like so many different reasons but essentially that doctor gave me a diagnosis which turned out to be a misdiagnosis because he had, I think he had no idea what was going on. I told him all my symptoms and why I was here, but um, he basically gave me a diagnosis, which I'm gonna put on the screen here, which was absolutely scary. So because of that and the severity of that possible diagnosis, he told me to go to a hospital immediately. So I go to the hospital, I am panicking, I'm alone, um, my mom couldn't come with me, it was during slash post covid and in Hungary at that time nobody could come in with me, it was only me and I had my mask on and they had all these uh, precautions due to COVID. So I was sitting there alone, um, waiting for my turn and just holding this paper in my hand and thinking about everything and my head was a mess. One thing that you have to know about me that I feel like I am a brave person, but when it comes to medical appointments, it freaks me out for some reason. So I finally, get checked. They did a ultrasound on me and the doctor there who did the ultrasound was super super nice, it was really calming. None of the doctors there understood why that previous doctor gave me that diagnosis because it was really severe and they ultimately didn't find anything that would point to me having that diagnosis. So my doctor I mean, she wasn't my doctor then, but I'll get to that. So that doctor who was there on call at that time, she really wanted to make sure. And she even asked me if I can be preg pregnant. And I told her that I don't think so. Like, no, no, I cannot be. But obviously, let's be sure. So she did a blood test to be absolutely 100% sure because they can tell you from your blood. I'm sorry if I say things that you guys already know. I just don't really know. 
<laughs> how to phrase everything and as you can say I'm pretty nervous about this video but I just want to talk about this so I am going to and I'm gonna tell you why at the end of this video so she did the blood test and it turned out that I wasn't pregnant which I obviously knew that I couldn't have been but um, it's a protocol but still we had no clue uh, for why that huge shooting pain in my right side happened. Um, at that time I did, I mean I was regularly going to my uh, gynecologist and I just, I mean first I had good experience with that doctor and then I just started having not really good experiences with him. So I decided to not go to his practice anymore and I asked this doctor at the hospital who helped me um, if she has a private practice where I can go and she said yes so the next day I looked her up online and I knew that she was gonna be my doctor from that point so last year I still had this pain and not only when I was on my period but it started to be more and more throughout the whole month um, during ovulation time and just here and then whenever it wanted to show up basically and it started to scare me a bit more and more i am a really really positive person i always try to look at the most positive aspect of everything and try to believe in good and this is just my mindset, but also I think I didn't want to believe that this could happen to me as well. So because of that fear, I didn't go to the doctor until this year, this April. Retrospectively, stupid idea, because if you have something, if you experience pain, if you feel like something is going on, in your body that's why we have doctors who can help us so i really should have gone i know my focus was somewhere else i was also afraid i'm not gonna lie and i just didn't want to deal with it because i thought that i mean the part that period comes with pain that part for me was obvious that's how i grew up it i always experienced pain but the part that it happened outside of uh, my period uh, window that started to get more and more to me this april i went to this doctor and uh, she was super nice i told her everything from my past i told her that she may or may not remember but last year i was the girl who was brought in because of xyz she did remember which was absolutely nice and i really felt the um not just the medical knowledge part in this doctor but also also human and that i was taking care of a little bit mentally as well she didn't rush she explained everything to me uh, which was not something that i experienced necessarily to an extent that i would have preferred in the past it was a good experience she did a regular checkup which i get every single year um, for um, cancer and also we did a an ultrasound again just to see what's going on so this was the time when she was looking at my ultrasound she said some things which started to get me even more afraid and realized that something may be going on but we don't know what she said that she's seeing some kind of things you guys i'm trying to be as open as possible and i do want to talk about this thing but i am right in the middle of this this is really emotional for me even though i'm smiling this is just a coping mechanism don't be fooled um and as much as I try to be open, there are just some things which are, this whole thing is personal, but some things which are just super duper personal. So please keep that in mind. So she did find some things which would point to endometriosis, but she also found some 
things that could point to PCOS. You did say that um, it would more go to the route of endometriosis. And I had so many questions because I have heard about this. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I have a master's degree in Hungary from clinical and health psychology. And because of the health psychology part, we did go through a lot of different um, diagnoses. And the metriosis was not one of them, but PCOS was. So I knew a little bit about what PCOS is. I also unfortunately have friends who are dealing with PCOS. Um, but not really friends who are dealing with endometriosis. So she started telling me all the options um, and basically what she said at this appointment at the end is that there are some certain medical uh, appointments that I would need to go to so that they can check my hormones, my hormone levels, which is essentially a blood test and she also recommended to get my um, insulin checked. These were like the basic things. Apart from this, she also said that she would recommend to get a, an MRI on my pelvic area. I looked that up because of I was so afraid and I think wasn't really thinking that things could get this far and me being delusional thinking oh everything is gonna be fine I didn't want to get that checked and also that is really expensive and I think I may not be 100% right but I think it's only in private practice here in Hungary and not in the public one so my train of thought was okay let's just get this hormonal tests done two different ones and then let's just get the insulin uh, tests done and then I'm gonna take back all these papers to her and then she will say something how we can go further. She will let me know what she sees from the results and then I will be more knowledgeable and know what's going on. In the past videos, and that's when I started to talk about these things on my channel, I think in the last few months, because this appointment was in April this year, as I said, and now it's um, September, um, these appointments happen throughout uh, this summer. Again, if you've been following my channel, I know I'm saying this a lot, but I just don't know who is clicking here for the first time and has no idea who I am, but just clicking because of the title or who has been following me. So if you have been following me on on my channel uh, you know that in other areas of my life and uh, not just in my health uh, quite a few things happened throughout this summer just for reference i resigned from uh, my corporate job i went to get another job as a psychologist i ended up resigning from there as well and uh, i was on a job hunt for a month and a half and um, then i got another job so just that um, mentally is a lot, I feel like. I talk about this more extensively, this job hunt and resigning and whatnot in previous videos, so please watch those if you are interested. But these were the circumstances. On top of that, I started to get these medical checks that I had to. Um, procrastination was working <laughs> as well in this whole thing and fear. And I am really glad for the people in my life who are encouraging me, especially my boyfriend who would not leave me alone in the best way, not leave me alone and go and get my self checked so i did go and this is what in the past videos you could have seen and i think the video that i just uploaded is from that time when i got my um, insulin tested as i said that was a month ago so then i finished all those appointments i got all my papers and i called my doctor up and i wanted to get a new appointment so that i can bring back all the papers. That appointment was this week. I bet she's super busy, so I couldn't really have a appointment sooner. I would have wanted to, but this is life. So I got this appointment for this week, and this appointment was this Tuesday in the morning before going to work and I had to go alone even though I was really really afraid Dan was working that morning and I am an adult I know 
but uh, as I said, these things still freak me out. All the papers were with me. I was shaking going into the room. Um, she was super nice and supportive. I think I was only there for like 15 minutes to have this consultation, but it felt like an hour or even more than that. I don't know. She did look at my hormones and she did say that that was, um, that was okay. She didn't see anything bad, anything out of um, the ordinary. So that's great. I'm happy about that. But my insulin was not the best. Seems like my body doesn't really want to take care of all the sugar that is coming into my body the way it, it should. So she did say that I should start eating less carbs and less sugar and maybe start every meal that I eat with vegetables. Until this part, I was kind of okay. But then she said that she would recommend laparoscopic surgery to see what's going on in there because she can't really see from the ultrasound that well um, and as for my understanding this is the standard procedure or protocol um, that this laparoscopic um, surgery is needed in order to see what's going on exactly inside my body now for someone this could be not big of a deal. I have never had surgery in my whole life, which I am so grateful for. I have never broken a bone. I have twisted my ankle several times. I have been to hospitals a few times, but nothing invasive was done on me. I don't have any experience with these things. And because of this, I am just terrified. Of surgery. I remember doing these um, Q&A's on Instagram last year or the year before and I would ask you guys to ask me something and someone asked what I think about plastic surgery. The same thing popped in my head then and there. I, first of all, I never really thought about plastic surgery. <clears throat> I mean getting it done, but uh, even if I wanted to, which I don't, but even if I wanted to, I could not stand the thought of me getting surgery so this is one part of what i was feeling or what i am feeling the other part is i've been going to therapy for like three years now i adore my therapist he helps me a lot and we are going through obviously every areas of my life and me also being in the field i feel like it's a really great dynamic that we have and i know i mean I would say that I am self-aware just in general but also I guess because of my profession as well it taught me a lot about myself and I know that I am a if you want to put it plainly <laughs> I, I feel like I'm a control freak and my anxiety which I am dealing with and have been dealing with from I don't know childhood comes from the fact that I just want control and if I cannot control things, then my anxiety kicks in. And for me, in my brain, this idea, it's not even an idea. See, I'm saying idea, I'm just analyzing myself right now, which is horrible. But this fact that most probably I have to have surgery is just the ultimate experience where I don't have control. I really hope I am explaining this right and I really hope that I get the message through that I am sharing all this because, well, I am talking about this because right now it's uh, Friday, this appointment was Tuesday, I have not been feeling well. I did go to therapy yesterday which helped. My friends came over yesterday. I mean, a few of my friends came over yesterday, which also helped, but I am terrified. I'm terrified of this whole thing. Um, I wasn't sure if I wanted to talk about this on my social media because I always say that I want to be as honest as possible, but also not, you know, not putting everything out on the internet, but when it comes to me, I'm trying to be as honest as possible and 
I know that I can get so much hate and I know that I'm letting you in on things that maybe you never wanted to know but for that my answer always was and always will be then why did you click on this video when you saw the title and that's always gonna be it and that's not me being angry or petty or something it's just illogical for me to click on a video where you see the title and then writing something nasty in the comments when you knew what the video was gonna be about anyways i was debating whether or not to talk about this but um right now how i'm feeling as i told you guys i don't really have people in my life who have been through this and i don't want to go on google i don't want to go on the internet and just look up everything because i know that that is just gonna make my mental state even worse than it is right now even though <laughs> one side of me is really spiritual the other side of me is super scientific and I only want to read articles which are empirical articles or I only want to listen to doctors I just don't want to confuse my head and basically take upon unnecessary information to stress me further I, I really hope I'm getting the message through with all that being said I want to help you guys if there is anyone here right now watching this video who is going through this i would just be really happy right now if someone would you know just take my hand and be like hey i went through this i know my hair really bothers me and i know i'm gonna hate myself when i edit this freaking video so if somebody would just <clears throat> take my hand and be like hey I went through this and this is what's gonna happen and if I just knew someone and precisely why I started this channel a few years ago was not me parading my life or anything like that it was for creating connection for trying to be an inspiration and just trying to be a space which is safe for anyone and everyone and if i can help with something with this small platform that i have right now because i know it's small but i don't care because there are actual people behind those numbers so if i can help i'm just gonna be happy and and then it was worth it creating this channel a few years ago I have no idea if I have said everything that I wanted to say because now I'm getting really emotional and I didn't want to get emotional <laughs> through this video. I know that my emotions are valid, but if I get super emotional right now, my head just becomes like a cloud and then I cannot get out the facts that I wanted to get out. After um, that video came out three days ago on Tuesday, I also made a small um, like short form content uh, for you guys in real life I posted it on my TikTok, my Instagram and also as YouTube shorts in three parts and I just want to say thank you I just want to say thank you because a few of my friends have texted me for example on Instagram one of my uh, friends who I went to primary school with texted me that she's actually been through this and she is a huge help in me even if she doesn't realize but we've been texting since yesterday and this is just goes to show that you can never know what people are going through because I had no idea that she's been going through this I mean why would I have but you know thank you and also on YouTube someone commented that maybe his little sister uh, should go and get checked out because she has a lot of the symptoms and I commented him back that saying thank you for that comment because now I know that me opening up and me being super vulnerable for the whole freaking world which is super scary it was worth it because I told myself that if even one person is gonna get the message and if I can help with one person with this then it's gonna be okay I'm still freaking out about talking about it but yeah 
so i don't even know how to finish this i didn't know how to start this video i don't know how to finish this um i think i'm gonna update you guys in another video a little bit later um i don't wanna as i said in the shorts as well i don't want my whole channel to be about this but i do want to raise awareness if you have any thoughts comments just put them down below thank you so much for listening to me as i said if you have something going on please go and get yourself checked out and um yeah i appreciate you guys i really do even if you guys don't feel like that um i do but i do feel appreciated you guys watching when you guys are commenting when you guys are liking i know that this is a weird relationship online um that I am here alone and I'm talking to a few hundred people and you cannot respond back um, at the same time I'm doing this but when you guys are writing comments that really does mean the world to me so thank you so much okay I'm just gonna go I don't know how to end this video I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one bye